Hey, hi everybody. Oh my gosh, I got a frog in my throat. Okay. Um welcome to the Treasure Lee and Blue Fern Studio holiday YouTube pop. Um I'm very excited for this collaboration and absolutely love the products of course of Blue Fern Studios and of course Kim over uh, at Treasure Lee. She does an amazing job putting kits together, so I created this book box with the kit that she sent me, well, some of the products that she sent me. Um, this is the new paper from Blue Fern Studio, Holiday Cheer. Uh, so I just inked the, I, I painted the box with, uh, actually with ink, uh, the Distress Ink. It was uh, from Prima. And I also ink the edges of my paper as I, as I, um, with a vintage photo. And I also, let's see, what did I do here? Well, then of course I added beautiful applique lace that I had been hoarding. We all have a hoard wall, right? <laughs> um, I absolutely loved this image ever since I first saw the paper. I really loved it. Um, and in our kit came these little icicles and uh, all I did was paint it, added some snowflake texture from Finnebar and this is, um, I think this, I'm not sure, I think, I want to say this was from Graphic 45, not too positive, but I had this in my stash as well, this little keyhole with the doorknob. Um, yeah, it took a while to dry. I, it was my first time trying to paint with uh, uh, Glimmer Mist, but it worked. I mean, it's, I, I love the color that it gave me because I didn't really have that color, um, the color that I was looking for, but it kind of went together, so I was happy with the outcome. Okay, now the inside of the box. <clears throat> It's me sick. My throat's kind of <laughs> scratchy. And the inside, I went ahead and just put some of the some of this paper. Um, I love this embossed paper. And then this was another image that I couldn't cut up. I absolutely loved it. So I put it that there. I made it felt inside only because I didn't want to place that beautiful paper inside. I mean, I love the paper, but I just thought, thought would be best um, and it holds my mini album like sturdier in there oh uh, let's see what else did I do I think that's all I did to this now let me get onto the album real quick because I don't want to make this video too long I already made another video and it was too long um okay now this album I had already created actually I'd already created one of these projects before and I, I loved the idea it's uh, few years back um but this album i got the idea from uh my sister scrapper ginger and uh followed her tutorial and so um i'll put that link below as well like i said this is a youtube pop so i of course gonna list all the amazing um creators from the designers from uh, bloom Friend studios but like i said i i put this together. This is one of those birds from, those resin birds from uh, Prima. And uh, so there's that uh, that gold I use on the inside of my box as well. And then here I just used some uh, I think they're called Poseidon and Bling or something like that from, from Prima as well. Uh, these are just some little um, bling pieces I had in my stash and then I put one of the ephemera pieces I propped it up the glare I propped it up with some um, double-sided tape and then what's the inside here <clears throat> I used one of the, another ephemera piece here to pr I prop that up as well you can insert a photo in there this is one of those the other ephemera piece dear Santa I've been good it says I love that. I decided to magnetize this album. That's the first one I do, so um, it was kind of, it, it was easy, but I don't know. It was just kind of difficult to know where to place things, being that I had already made my folds. So 
um, but uh, there's some um, places for your photos. These are the, I think, like two and a half by three. Those little uh, printer, the ones you, those, um, what are they? M mobile or printers? I don't know, something like that. <laughs> Anyways, and then I had originally made some tags for this, but I had to go with the, uh, the tags, some of the tags from the ephemera pieces um, because it, my book was too thick to fit in the book, in the album so <laughs> this um, I cut these out from one of the sheets of paper I just stress the edges uh, using a peeled paint um, distress ink so that's what I did there on those I has a lot of flip pages I really love the images on on here so on this paper line and go more of the ephemera pieces on that one. Here's some other of those tags. So I, here's another of those frames. I don't want to cover up that super cute uh, snowman there. But it does have a lot of room for um, photos. And then there's that right there, double, for double photos. I had a lot of fun making this. Really enjoyed it. <clears throat> I added one of the the bottom of the the papers. It has you know the sheet the strip on the bottom. I don't cut those if I you know when I can use them. So I still have a few here, and I'm thinking I might. I'm not sure. Add them to some of my um, pages. Get like you know, I cut them out and ink them and all that, but I wasn't sure at the time and I was trying to wrap wrap this up, so it was it'll probably be too thick if I try to add them. So it can be used in another project. Let's see, here's all these pockets. Um, this one here I used a little um forget what these are called. Uh yeah, don't know what, I can't remember what they're called, sorry. <laughs> it's early in the morning, I still haven't had coffee. And yeah, that's what it's called, the paper line, Christmas cheer. Absolutely love it. Let me see here. Another um, thing for double photos. It was so hard to know which paper to cut, because <laughs> they're all so pretty. I love that one there. I left that blank. I could have put a photo mat there, but I love that image there. Um, I absolutely love these these little um, that were on that one sheet. They really, um, I thought they came out great there. And then this last one, and I have, that's a super cute frame um, ephemera piece. Yeah, so, um, and then I finalized it by adding the seam binding. This is some actual vintage seam binding. Um, I had it in my stash, and when I opened it, like, even the paper was falling apart. The paper, the packaging from it, so it's some really old vintage. I um, added a little bit of spray to make it a tiny bit darker, um, but... Um, yeah, so that's my project. Um, I am super excited for you all to go see the rest of the designers' uh, projects, and I hope you'll follow along um, and go to everyone's uh, videos, uh, leave your comments. I hope you'll subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And um, yeah, so you'll win a great prize at the end. So who doesn't like you? Uh, any kind of pop, right? So um, what else can I say? Oh, I will also put the links below to all the the Treasury, Treasury, oh my gosh, Treasury um, links, all their social media links. My mind is completely blank this morning. Um, and so I'll put all the links down below to that. And um, her kids are amazing. So if you're not a, if you're not having subscribed to her kids, 
please do. You won't be disappointed. They're really great, great products, and they're jam-packed. So um, this right here was the scrapbook kit. It came with a lot more stuff. I'll be doing, um, I'm actually making some more, uh, like two more projects with the kit that I got. So it's a lot of uh, products that you get. And also, of course, using my cards and tag, cards, tags, and more kit. Um, <clears throat> where I am uploading that video as well. So that'll be after about after this one. So I hope you will subscribe and press your notification button so you get that notification that I've done my video. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, like I said, good luck. Please follow along and I will talk to you all later at the end of the hop. We'll talk to you soon. Bye everybody.